Hello and welcome to this video covering the innovation to the lacrimal gland and most importantly the autonomic supply of secretory motor function. We're going to start off talking about the simplest part which is the sensory innovation to the lacrimal gland. This is straightforward via the lacrimal nerve which is a branch of the ophthalmic division of trigeminal known as V1. The ophthalmic division supplies sensory innovation to the orbit and structures around the eye and the eye itself and uh, is divided into three branches, the lacrimal nerve, the frontal nerve and the nasociliary nerve. Also important to this story for the autonomic supply to the gland is the maxillary division which is V2 of trigeminal and this is important because autonomic fibres need to hitchhike a ride along the trigeminal nerve in order to access the gland. We also need to draw on the internal carotid artery, I'll come on to that in a moment, but central to our story here is the pterygopalatine ganglion. This is important for the parasympathetic supply to the lacrimal gland. The pterygopalatine ganglion is known as a parasympathetic ganglion. It hangs off the maxillary nerve, but remember that the trigeminal nerve has no parasympathetic outflow of its own, so it has to come from elsewhere. So the pterygopalatine ganglion lives in a little depression called the pterygopalatine fossa, which I've coloured in here in a kind of brown colour. So the continuation of the maxillary nerve, once it goes through foramen rotundum, it goes through the inferior orbital fissure and travels on the floor of the orbit as the infraorbital nerve. And this is important for the connection to the lacrimal nerve so that these autonomic fibres can get there. So we can now label the innovation into the pterygopalatine ganglia. There's two routes in to the ganglia. We've got one which is coming in superiorly here in this schematic which is the greater petrosal nerve and the one coming in inferiorly is the deep petrosal nerve. So the greater petrosal nerve is for the parasympathetic nerve supply and the deep petrosal nerve is the route in for the sympathetic nerve supply and they travel together through a nerve which is called the nerve of the pterygoid canal and they then reach the pterygopalatine ganglion and the fibers then eventually travel via a branch connecting the lacrimal gland with the maxillary nerve called the zygomaticotemporal nerve and this is how the nerves essentially get to the lacrimal glands by hitchhiking their way along those trigeminal nerve fibers so let's start off by talking about the parasympathetic route. The parasympathetic route, of course, the outflow of parasympathetics to the lacrimal gland begins with the facial nerve. The facial nerve travels through the internal acoustic meatus and eventually some of those parasympathetic fibres will travel along the greater petrosal nerve as preganglionic fibres to synapse in the pterygopalatine ganglion. So they synapse in the ganglion, postganglionic fibres here seen in blue then leave the ganglion, hitchhike a ride along some of those trigeminal nerve fibres eventually to reach the lacrimal nerve to supply the gland. The sympathetic supply is different, coming on in green. Of course, the preganglionic sympathetic fibres will have synapsed in the superior cervical ganglion, wrapped as a plexus around the internal carotid artery and made their way in via the deep petrosal nerve. They pass through the pterygopalatoid ganglion, but they do not synapse there. They've already synapsed in the uh, the cervical ganglion and then they make a similar route along trigeminal nerve fibers to reach the lacrimal gland. Subscribe to Soton Brain Hub for more videos to help explain the mysteries of the brain.